Here we're going to show an application of a PLC in an HMI unit in conjunction with a relay test set to test a protective relay. What we're going to be doing here is a test on this time overcurrent protective relay to see how many seconds it takes to uh, trip the circuit breaker with a given amount of current set from our protective relay test set. What we've done is programmed a, a PLC inside this box along with an HMI unit to display the amount of elapsed time as soon as we turn the power on. So what we're going to do is uh, at a given point in time we'll turn that switch on the PLC will register when the power is applied and it will begin rolling the timer and then as soon as the protective relay reaches the end point and the contacts close to trip the breaker that's going to command the PLC to stop timing so here we go I have my assistant turn the power on and we'll watch this number to go there we go we're counting we're counting and 4.05 seconds later we've reached the trip point on the breaker. We're going to turn our power off. What's neat about this is when you're doing tests like this on a protective relay, the time measurement, especially for high currents, when it, what, how much time it takes to move that induction disk around and trip the relay, that time can be very difficult to measure with a hand-driven stopwatch. You really need something like a PLC that has millisecond resolution and a very good accuracy to do this sort of test work. So this uh, prototype system we put together right here is going to be rebuilt in a more permanent fashion and will allow us to uh, do this as part of the normal protective relay test set's function. Because right now this test set is strictly a manual device. With the PLC timer, we'll have much more functionality than we could before.